Governments and businesses are gearing up for net zero emissions or carbon neutrality by 2050 or earlier. Well, Singapore's banking group UOB has created a framework to define their path towards that goal. Earlier, we spoke with UOB's newly appointed chief sustainability officer. He shared the bank's strategy to meet the global sustainable development goals. So if you speak to investors as well as where the board is guiding us, it's very clear that because sustainability is going mainstream, over time, uh, more and more of your loan portfolio will need to go green or sustainable, right? And it's difficult to simply throw a headline number out there because sustainability will mean different things for different sectors of the economy. For example, if you look at a recent study by Bain, they talk about a trillion dollars worth of financing opportunities across Southeast Asia as we transform towards the Paris Agreement commitments. And our book, as a whole is 280 billion. So you can imagine that we would be trying to transition as much of that book as possible to sustainability uh, themed or sustainability contributing type assets. Uh, today, we have about 11 billion of uh, sustainable uh, finance assets. We have a target as of 2023 to bring that to 15, but you know that's gonna be uh, very easy for us to reach. So we'll be really looking at our targets uh, in the longer term towards the end of this year. One of the things I think that's really helpful that changed in 2020 is uh, three major stakeholders started to uh, really start to align. The first uh, thing that happened was in 2020, all the national governments had to submit what we call the NDCs or nationally determined contributions to the Paris Agreement. These essentially will translate to national development plans that will change the way we live, work or play. Second, you've had investors, large asset managers that began to harden their stance in terms of companies they want to invest in. They want to see sustainable plans and progress along those fronts. And the third stakeholder, obviously, is the all-powerful consumer uh, who's starting to really uh, demand sustainability in their uh, lifestyle as well as investment options. Up to 80% of Singaporean consumers care about sustainability and want to be able to make that choice, right? So from our standpoint, it's about number one, helping our customers transform at a pace that is right for them in line with the national agenda, slightly uncomfortable because change is a bit difficult, but certainly not leaving anyone behind. Uh, that being said, we do look very closely at high risk ESG sectors and make sure that in that space, customers commit to a sustainable transformation path, and uh, we want to be able to work closely and support them with that. Eric Lim, Chief Sustainability Officer at UOB.